What's up? What's up? What's up? This your boy Zeke Dog, and I'm back with another video. Man, this is about to be a long day. So your boy is picking up in the Memphis, Tennessee, baby, Memphis, Tennessee. Where you at, Frazier? Where you at, North Memphis? North, North. Where you at, South Memphis? Where you at, Orange Mound? Whitehaven, where you at? I'm, I'm going to make my way around. South Haven, where you at? Out of Branch, where you at? Cordova, where you at? Collierville, where you at? Woo! Did I miss something? I think I missed somebody. I was trying to make my way all the way around, but I got most of every, everybody, man. Hey, M-Town, I'm in the m M M M, and now we got to go to work. Alright dog team, so this load is going from Memphis, Tennessee over to South Kakilaki and I'm looking something hill. Let's see. Rock Hill, South Carolina. And this is gonna be a hazmat load. So I'ma run this baby and get her over there real quick like on tomorrow. And uh your boy gonna pull up on the plug and, and let them know, hey, it low gotta go. So that's the plan, man. That's what we gonna do. We gonna pull up on the plug, man. We gonna we gonna get what we need, and we gonna be out of five thousand. Hazmat. That's what we getting, man. Hazardous material. I actually, man, I had to get a whole badge signing up up in here. I'm like. Man, I'm just picking up the load. I, I ain't trying to get nothing on supposed to get. But, you know, if that's what it takes to get in here, I guess that's what I'm going to do then, man. Um, man, it's the new year, man. This is the new year. It's uh, so much going on, man. So many big plans. So many moves. And... At the end of all that, man, I'm still trying to help people out. Like, I have so many, so many people hitting up me, asking just for my advice on things, and I appreciate y'all, y'all uh, respecting my advice and and uh, and actually reaching out to me. And uh, I don't mind, you know, because this ain't like a market to where it can only be one trucker in the world and. That's it. No, man, there's plenty of money for all of us out here. So if I can help you get to your dream, if I can tell you the pros and cons, which I, I try to do it through the video. And when I actually talk to talk to some of my subscribers, man, I'm I'm saying the same thing that I say in the videos. But you can you can succeed out here, man. It's just at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself, am I making good business sense? And I can honestly say, man, I've made some mistakes in trucking. And I've made some good decisions in trucking. Can we, could we, if we could go back and do it over again, everybody would probably change something about what they did. Even if it's just a small detail. And, man, thinking back, knowing what I know now, because knowledge is power. The knowledge that I have now is like, I, I could have made a lot of other choices that would have got me here in a, in a better place than what I am now. It would have got me here still, but 
I wouldn't have spent as much money in some spots and I would have been able to save money in other spots. And, and that's, the, that's what it's about, man. Money comes in and money comes out. You want to try to stop it from going back out as much as possible. But the money that's coming in, that probably would have been close to being the same, but I'm happy I'm where I'm at. I, I, I'm not taking it for granted at all. I'm very appreciative of, of the journey that I've been on and some of the most memorable lessons are the ones we learn with, with, with the most, uh, I don't want to say traumatic, but the, but the ones that, that give you the most painful lessons, those are the ones you tend to remember a little more. So, um, man, from here, man, we just going up, man. We are just going up. So, my goal is to try to drop more videos for y'all, man. Y'all like Z Dog, you've been saying that, man. I know, man. Z Dog be tired. Uh, ain't no other way to say it, man. Your boy be tired some days. So, I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. And we're just going to go from there. Got my old hard hat back on. Open up these trailer doors. And then I can't even stay in the trailer while I'm all, I say in the trailer, in the truck. While I'm getting loaded. So, open this up. Door didn't want to open. All right, I'm gonna pull in to where he just pulled out of. Uh, I saw a pole over there. Let me uh, let me reevaluate myself. I don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah, it's the pole right there, so watch the yellow pole. That's all I got to mentally tell myself. I'm sitting up in the waiting room right now. If they're loading my truck, they won't even let me be in the truck while they're loading it. Look like I'm getting some hazmat number eight. 3260. Oh no, they're in like a sandbags. Alright dog team man, it is the next day. Your boy Zeke Dog is rolling. And I'm uh I'm really trying to get this load here today. And uh and gonna go to my next pickup. Uh the reason for that is my understanding is it's a possibility that, that they will unload me today. Uh, I've already booked up another load. They got like a 5 p.m. pickup. So the whole time I'm thinking if this load does not deliver, then it's going to have a domino effect that messes up my other loads that, that I already booked. Which I don't see a, a major reason why they would not accept the load. I mean, if they're open... And they got, you know, delivery hours from, let's just say, 8 p.m., uh, 8 a.m. To, to 3 p.m. That's that's average with a lot of places. But, uh, I don't know, man. 
I, I really don't know, man. Uh, I won't know until I get there. And like I said, the uh, the dispatcher could not give me a definitive answer whether they would or not. So with trucking, man, sometimes you gotta take a gamble, and and this is definitely a gamble to whether or not it's gonna work. Uh, another thing, man, that's been on my mind is my logos for my truck man y'all been asking see dog where your logos man are you, are you gonna get them put on man the only thing i'm waiting on is the shop to finalize my design like i've sent them the design twice and you know until they actually work it up on their computer and get all the dimensions of everything correct, then, you know, there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reach out to them today and see if uh, I can get an update. I was letting the holidays go by because I know a lot of people tend to take off for the holidays, so I'm thinking, all right, man, I ain't gonna sweat them too hard on it but I'm ready to get my freaking logos put on my truck it's it's, it's beyond the time for me to do it you know uh, I think previously with Prime I, I was okay with a, a more simplistic design uh, it, it, if you would think that was a simple design, I thought it was. But, um, I mean, this design is pretty much going to be similar. It's going to be simple, but it's just going to be the design for the White Walker. You know, this is a whole nother truck. So, the concept is definitely, will definitely be the same. But it's just going to be, it's going to be a little bit different. That's why I don't even want to put any renderings up. Like, I got the design. And uh, I just I just don't want to put any of the designs up because if we have to make any changes, I don't want y'all to be like, man, we thought it was gonna be like this, and now it's like that. So uh, I'm I'm just waiting, man. Like in my head, I'm I'm knowing and hoping I'm gonna be happy with the design, which on paper it looks good, but then you put it on the truck. I'm curious of you know how it's gonna look. So that's what I got going on with that, man. Uh, like I said, it, this this the first full load of the year. Uh, I delivered uh, ending load of, of the uh, yesterday, and it was a two part, but it still technically was on this new physical year. Uh, for trucking so my first full load man it, it's it's been going pretty smooth man I stopped last night in uh, Atlanta and uh, let me tell you what happened there at the Petro so I get parked and I go on the app and I book my shower now prior to booking my shower I always go into the um, the app to see how many people are waiting on the shower. The queue was empty. Nobody was in the queue waiting on the shower. Zero people. So I'm like, cool. I should book it and they're probably going to instantly send me my code. That did not happen. I booked it. Sat in my truck for about... <sighs> Set in my truck for about 10 minutes. And I was like, man, it ain't going to take that long for them to, to get a shower when they got about 20 showers there at, at the Petro. So I parked at the very back end of the lot. And I was like, you know what? Let me just walk on up here because it's going to be a six to seven minute walk just to get up to the truck stop, which I don't have a problem with walking. That's good exercise. So uh, I walk on up there and I I, uh, I have a seat 
and I, I see my my number on the the wait list on the, the computer screen. So I'm like, I know I'm next. Let me just sit tight for a minute. So I've sat there for probably about 30 minutes, man. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I walk down the uh, uh, hallway where the showers are at, and I'm looking. I'm trying to see if I see anyone working. I see a shower cart which indicated somebody was working the car and cleaning the shower. I'm like, man, this dude taking forever. So I go back and I chill out for a minute. And then the, the, the fella came from around back and was like, man, you can turn the TV on in here. I said, man, I don't need the TV. I need the shower. I said, I've, I've been waiting for about an hour. And he was like, oh, man, the computer system ain't working. Bruh. Bruh, help me. How, how, how y'all gonna have the computer system not working and you don't let nobody know? Make that make sense. So, long story short, he ended up using a key and just, oh man, <laughs> oh, Zeke dog still tired, man. And he opened up the door so I can utilize the shower, but I'm like, man, I, I'd have wasted an hour of waiting just because y'all system ain't working and, and y'all didn't let nobody know. Like, the, there should be signs posted on the door by the fuel pump somewhere to let people know, hey, you need to go up to the, the cash register or actually find a, a, a attendant and let them know that, hey, you booked your shower or don't even let me book. Make me go to the cash register and have them give me a key. Whatever y'all need to do, but y'all need to let people know that we can't get a shower without the assistance of somebody else in the key. So uh, my plan was to get parked. Yeah, it'd be a Zeke doll video, y'all like, man, you keep saying it. Yeah, I keep saying that because that, that's always the plan. But that didn't happen. So by the time I get out the shower, grab me a salad, man, because this year, man, 2024, I'm eating better. I'm trying to eat a salad every day. Now, you know, mind you, I ain't going to even lie. I ate a salad, but then I ate a, a, a jelly honey bun after that. Uh, probably was not the best combination. But, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm making strides in a slower motion than originally planned so um yeah man zeke doll still trying i'm trying to eat eat healthier and uh i'm planning on doing workouts a, a few days a week even if even if it's just a little light job while i'm waiting on the shipper to unload me you know hop out my truck run around the parking lot uh do some jumping jacks, some push-ups, something, man, to get your heart rate going, something to, to burn a few calories because the sitting in one place, one location, all day, man, that is not healthy for you. So I got to uh, I gotta become more active uh, out here trucking, man. You, uh, you, you can't let yourself fall victim to the road of fast food on the road and unhealthy uh, eating. I mean, it, it, I'm not going to lie. It's so convenient to run into McDonald's and say, give me a Big Mac or run into Burger King and, and say, give me a, a, a King Mac with Mac King something. <laughs> Man, whatever Burger King got. You know, it, it, it's too easy to do that. You know, order your, your greasy fries, which, man, they taste so good. I, 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 I ain't going to lie. I love the taste of it. But uh, mentally, every day, that's going to be about, all right, what you want to do, car? All right. Um, every day, that's going to be a mental battle to attempt to eat healthy. 
while out here uh, and continue to eat healthy uh, light workouts man I'm, I'm not trying to start any marathon running or, or, or do any kind of forest gump running I just wanna wanna uh, improve my overall cardiovascular uh, system and, 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 and muscle mass while reducing fat intake and current fat sales so uh, we're gonna see how that work man uh, we're gonna try this we're gonna try this for 2024 man since I'm not currently in a flatbed but uh, that's a story for another video uh, maybe the video tomorrow uh, Cause guess what? <laughs> I'm 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 gonna say that for the next video. I'm gonna say that for the next video. So uh, yeah, man, let's get this load on over here. Get this get this delivery made, and man, we're gonna we're gonna keep on trucking after this. All right, dog team, man. I have made it to the cosigny, and they took my paperwork, and they told me to come back up into the dock. Whew, thank you, Jesus, man. When I tell you, whew, first of all, this was a tight squeeze. Uh, homeboy over here kind of washed the back of the trailer for me. For a minute when I was backing, but uh, let me go ahead and put my wheel chalk down. All right, and door is currently closed. I don't know if I actually showed y'all in there. I think I did. All right, we got the pallets of. Whatever this stuff is in here. So, oh, you know what? Man, I'm glad I'm thinking about this right now. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get these placards out of here while we sitting here waiting. Because if y'all remember my very first load, guess what, Zeke Dog? <laughs> we got the do. I left one of them. I left the one behind the door. I got the ones on the side. And then got to the one on the back of the door. And because the door was already uh, open, I didn't see it. So when I closed the door, it wasn't even on my mind to grab it. I had thought about it at one point, but at that exact second, it was not on my mind. So, this is a corrosive. Uh, like the guy told me, they use it in uh, toothpaste and cleaning supplies and, and things like that. So, well, he got a reefer. His was empty, so he getting loaded over here. Yeah, I'm just south of, uh, I think it's Charleston, South Carolina. I want to say I've delivered a load of something on a flatbed. <laughs> I delivered a load of something on a flatbed down this way before. And uh, it's not often I'm here in this exact area, but your boy is here right now. All right, last one. I, I find it easier to slide the uh, plastic up first. Try to get this thing out. There we go. I'm gonna leave the plastic inserts in here for now. But when I leave, uh, when I get my next trailer, I'll take them with me because apparently trailers ain't just coming with them every day now. 
My first one came with them and I thought it was normal. They had one in just about every one of them. Uh-uh-uh. Not now. Alright. So I got that, that. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, so let me let me show y'all. And I'm I may may have played it on the camera. But I came down here and man it ain't a lot of room right here. Yeah, if y'all can tell it's you got the garbage can here, so I drove towards the middle here between these two uh garbage dumpsters and man I started cranking it and i started to to jack it into a 90 so it can bag on up in here now it, it took me a few pulls once i got it around to get her lined up just right but she in there so i mean at the end of the day that's the overall goal to get her from point a to point b oh man so let's hope they don't take too long to get me unloaded Guess I edit me a Z doll video while I'm waiting. Go ahead, put my address in to my next location. I want to say uh, I put it. It already it was already in my phone, so I'm about two hours away from my next pickup, which is until five o'clock, and it's just noon right now. So I got about three hours of of wiggle room up in here so let me let me relax for a minute it's been a long morning for Zeke dog but we here baby we are here we in there yeah yeah alright Zeke dog is unloaded Boy, I am good to go good to go so, so that's my straps in here. I guess they don't be caring about these seals, really. Most of them don't, but you know, hey, is they seal whatever they want to put on it? I'm cool with it. Oh, let me go chill out of the truck stop for a while. Before I get ready to start my next load so appreciate y'all checking out these videos man like share subscribe turn on that notification bell and join the dog team so until the next time baby keep it trucking